Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to get this microphone up here where you can hear me. Another installment of seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. It's a show where so far this year we've been talking how, about how to stop letting life happen to you and to begin creating the life you crave. I actually saw another great name that I wrote down here. If you saw it, <laughs> good for you. That's, uh, that's something we're going to start working on next. But this morning, this morning, I've got a topic for you. Hey, George, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Joe. Hey, if you're watching, uh, whether you're catching the show live on Facebook or you're listening on your favorite podcast catcher or you're catching a replay uh, or you're watching it months and months and months from now, either way, doesn't matter. Go ahead and drop a comment in there. Say hi. Let me know that you saw the show. And, uh, that'll be awesome. And by the way, if, um, you know, somebody else that could benefit, I usually do this at the end. I'm doing it at the beginning this morning. So there command decision made. If you know somebody else that can benefit from these conversations, be sure and like this, uh, video, this, yeah, this video on uh, Facebook, share it with your network, get those people plugged in here as well. All right. So this morning, uh, I was going through kind of my list of topics, planning out some stuff, and th this random thought hit me. I was like, well, that's exactly what I need to talk about this morning. A lot of people, th this is where um, I want to talk about focus today and how, where, rather, where to apply your focus, right? One of, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a Tony Robbins ism where focus goes, energy flows, right? The things you focus on get your energy and your attention. And so we need to be really careful on what we focus on, right? I mean, have you ever found yourself, um, something you're particularly nervous about doing, uh, speaking in front of people, starting a business, whatever the case may be. You're nervous about it and you think about how nervous you are about it and then you keep coming up with all these reasons why it won't work until you find a reason that you can say, oh, well, that's a good enough reason why I shouldn't do it. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. Your brain has this, there's this little piece in your brain called the reticular activating system. And when you tell it this is important, then it'll go out and find all the information and bring it back to you. It's kind of like Google for your brain, right? It'll bring all of that stuff back and put it right here in front of you so you can focus on it more. So, so what you focus on captures the attention of your brain. So now I titled this morning's episode, do you focus on your strengths or your weaknesses? We all have things that we're good at. We all have things that we could work on, right? And then we have things that we're just not good at. I'm not a good runner. <laughs> That's a great one for me. Um, forced myself to do it for years mainly because somebody was behind me yelling at me, telling me I had to, but uh, that that's not where my strengths lie. We are each uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do work that matters. So when we, th those things that we are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do, they're easy for us. They're easy. Now, we might look at something and say, um... Well, let's say, there, I don't know where the shortages lie now, but let's say you got a kid coming out of high school and you look at where, uh, you know, the professions that pay well. Well, there's a shortage of, um, I don't know, mechanical engineers. You should go into mechanical engineering. There'll be demand there. Well, what if that's not where she's uniquely gifted, talented, and placed? She's not going to do well there. And it'll be frustrating and unfulfilling and all those things that go along with them, right? So find the area where you are, where your strengths lie. That's where your gifts and talents lie. Also, by the way, find that area and focus on that. Now, should you try to learn to do things that you don't 
know how to do that you're not good at. Yes, but you shouldn't spend all your time on it. Don't, don't try to get, here's a great example for business owners. Man, I wish, I wish I could yell this and not, I don't want to turn it up to 11, turn it up to a million because so many business owners do this and it's crazy. All right. I, I did a class last Friday and I say in the class, about 20 people and I say, okay, how many of you in here? There were a couple of questions about, you know, is QuickBooks better or FreshBooks better or where can I learn this? Where, how many of you in here are starting an accounting practice? None of them raised their hand. I said, okay, then why are you worried about how to become an accountant? All that stuff, I, I can't reach it from here. The box is over there. All that stuff goes in the box whoosh, out to the accountant. That's not where your strengths lie. Don't, you know, don't worry about that. Find somebody else to do that for you so you can focus on, on where your strengths lie. A good friend of mine, Dan Miller, says we, we should spend about 85% of our time working in our strengths, working on the things, in the things that we're already gifted and talented to do. <clears throat> we should spend about... 10% of our time working in the areas that are necessary, but we're not particularly gifted and talented. <clears throat> I need some coffee. <clears throat> ah, yeah, much better. So 10% of our time working in the areas <clears throat> where we are not uniquely talented. Sorry about that. I get that to go away. And then 5% of our time working in the areas where we're struggling. 5% of your time, right? What's what's 5% of 40, all right? Well, let's see, 10% would be four. No, that's not right. See, math, not my strong suit, times 0 0.05. Two hours a week, two hours a week. How many of you spent more than two hours a week, two hours last week working on something that you're not good at? Hmm. No, nobody's raising their hand, but I bet somebody did. If you spent more than two hours working on something you're not good at last week, that's not critical for your business. So for example, you don't have to be an accountant to run a business, but you do need to know how to read and interpret the financial reports. Okay, so you might not be good at reading them, but you need to work on that. Spend 10% of your time on that, right? That's a day, one day a week. No, half a day a week, right? The rest of your time is spent working on the things you're good at. So when it comes to focus and what to focus on, <laughs> Yeah, Joe says I am uniquely gifted, talent, gifted and talented at drinking coffee. I thank you, sir. I shall engage um, anew. So when you're talking about focus, because remember, we can only have one priority. Multitasking is a myth. One thing. So when you choose what to focus on, you can use this rule. I mean, 85, 10, and 5. Use it for a day. I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to spend 10 hours working today, right? You get 30 minutes to work on something you don't, you're not good at. That's not critical to the business. 30 minutes. We spend more time than that eating lunch. Don't waste time on the stuff you're not good at. That's not critical to running the business. So you can use this by day, by week, by quarter, by year. Doesn't matter, but be cognizant of it. And if you need to, Jot it down in your journal that I know you're keeping, how much time you're spending in each one of these areas. Or just how much time you're spending. Then you can go back and say, you know, which area did this fall into. All right, be careful, be stingy, be selfish with your focus. Be selfish with your focus. It's You only have one opportunity to focus on something today. Because tomorrow, today's gone. Don't miss out. 
<clears throat> focus on your strengths. Be aware of your weaknesses, but focus on your strengths. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, if you know somebody that can benefit from our conversations, be sure to share this video with them. Like it. That'll let everybody know in your Facebook network that uh, you are here and checking out the show. We'll be back again tomorrow. See, today's Thursday, so free coaching Friday tomorrow. If you have a question or topic you'd like for me to hit, send me a message with that info. And I will get it in. So that's it. Until tomorrow, you guys have a great day. It's Thankful Thursday. Share what you're thankful with. Tell someone today that you are thankful for them. All right? I'll talk to you tomorrow.